In this video, I'm going to show you how to estimate the cardiovascular disease risk, or CVD risk, using the World Health Organization and International Society of Hypertension Risk Prediction Charts. The WHO ISH risk prediction charts indicate the 10-year risk of a fatal or non-fatal major cardiovascular event, like a heart attack or stroke, according to a series of risk factors including the patient's age, sex, blood pressure, smoking status, total blood cholesterol, and presence or absence of diabetes mellitus. The charts provide approximate estimates of CVD risk in people who do not have established coronary heart disease, stroke, or other atherosclerotic disease. They are useful as tools to help identify those at high cardiovascular risk and to motivate patients, particularly to change behavior and, when appropriate, to take antihypertensives, lipid-lowering drugs, and aspirin. The charts have been developed for specific world subregions according to their epidemiological characteristics, so you have to make sure you are using the correct one, which for the Pacific Island countries is the Western Region B, or WPRB, as is shown here at the top and bottom of the charts. There are two types of charts. One type can be used in settings where blood cholesterol can be measured, and it is this one. The other type is for settings in which blood cholesterol cannot be measured, and it is this other one. An alternative way of estimating CVD risk when the blood cholesterol value cannot be measured is to use a total cholesterol value of 5.2 millimoles per liter with the cholesterol chart. You need to have the patient's information on age, sex, blood pressure, smoking status, presence or absence of diabetes mellitus, and if available, total blood cholesterol. Once you have this information, you can use the charts to calculate the approximate combined risk due to all these risk factors for CVD expressed as a 10-year risk for developing a heart attack or a stroke. On top of the charts, you can see that there are five categories of risk levels, each depicted with a different color. The green category corresponds with a low risk of less than 10%. The yellow and orange categories correspond to medium risk, where if the cell is yellow, the risk is between 10 and 20%. And if it is orange, it is between 20 and less than 30%. The red and deep red or maroon categories correspond with very high risk, where the red indicates a risk between 30 and less than 40%. The deep red or maroon cells indicate a risk of more than 40% for developing a heart attack or stroke. Risk stratification is not necessary for making treatment decisions in certain categories of people, as all of these individuals need intensive lifestyle interventions and appropriate drug therapy. The risk charts underestimate the risk in certain categories of people. It will be necessary to adjust or fine-tune the estimate CVD risk. If you have information on blood cholesterol, use this chart. First, select the appropriate chart depending on the presence or absence of diabetes. Second, select male or female tables. Third, select smoker or non-smoker boxes. Fourth, select age group box. If the age is 40 to 49 years or below 40, then select 40. If age is between 50 and 59 years, select 50. If age is between 60 and 69 years, select 60. For 70 to 79, choose 70. Within this box, find the nearest cell where the individual systolic blood pressure and total blood cholesterol levels cross. The color of the cell determines the 10-year cardiovascular risk. For example, you have an individual who is without diabetes, male, non-smoker, 50 years old, 
with a systolic blood pressure of 140 millimeters mercury and a total cholesterol of 7 millimoles per liter. The risk factor profile corresponds to a 10-year risk of heart attack or stroke of green or below 10%. Another example is of an individual with diabetes, male, aged between 50 and 59 years, smoker, with systolic blood pressure of 166 millimeters mercury and total cholesterol of 7 millimoles per liter. The deep red or maroon cells indicate a risk of more than 40% for developing a heart attack or stroke. Another example is of an individual with diabetes, female, 45 years old, smoker, of 168 millimeters mercury, no cholesterol test, but using the cholesterol value of 5.2 millimoles liter. The orange indicates a risk of between 20 to 30 percent of developing a heart attack or stroke. This is the chart used when blood cholesterol cannot be measured. These charts are less accurate than those with cholesterol, but still provide an option for treating a patient based on risk of developing a heart attack or stroke. To use this chart, you have to follow the same steps as for the previous chart, except that in the last step, you will only look for the cell with the individual's level of systolic blood pressure. If the client is already on treatment, use the pre-treatment levels of risk factors if the information is available to assess and record the pre-treatment risk. Then also assess the current risk using the current levels of risk factors. If the individual has high cardiovascular risk, the guidelines recommend more intensive treatment, often including drugs. This is because the individual's risk has to be lowered urgently to prevent a heart attack or stroke. Conversely, if the CVD risk is low, the interventions may be more conservative ones, like counseling for change in behavior, for example, smoking cessation or increased physical activity. Using the charts, a health worker in primary health can identify people at high risk and, if necessary, refer them for appropriate treatment to the next level of care. Thus, the WHO ISH risk prediction charts and the accompanying guidelines will improve the effectiveness of cardiovascular risk management, even in settings which do not have sophisticated technology.